Hey guys, this is the Keep Pounding channel. We got a lot of news to cover today. Uh, first and foremost, the biggest news is David Tepper is the new Panthers owner. Sold at $2.5 billion. Now his net worth is over $11 million. $11 billion? Billion. Billion. So, uh... For those of you that don't know, he is partial owner of the Steelers, and this is huge, huge news. So, we're excited to see what this brings for the future. Uh, and now we're going to get into the players. Uh, first off, the two people that were waived today were Zach Sanchez, the cornerback, and wide receiver Russell Shepard. I'm going to get into Zach Sanchez first because it's important that we do so. Um, Zach Sanchez, I actually liked him in preseason last year and in training camp last year. But here's the thing. He has an injury designation. So I don't know what his future is going to be, but... Uh, Zach, we thank you for your time with the Panthers. And hopefully you take what you learn with you. So now, Russell Shepard. Um, Russell Shepard. I didn't get to see much of him during camp. Uh, like I say, all I know of from training camp is the videos that people sent me. Because I was not able to go last year. year. But, um... And that's the same with Zach Sanchez. I got to see him through videos that people sent through my news feed about training camp. So, um... Based on what I saw, I... I don't have enough info to tell you much about Russell Shepard, but I did like the few videos that I saw of him catching the ball, but it was just basic stuff that most of the receivers could do. You know, it was, he did show good hands, but, uh, you know, I trust in the management and I trust what they're doing. If they don't think he's a good fit and they want to sign somebody else that uh, looks better and helps out with needs and depth, then I'm down. Um, so, before I get into the people that we signed, Dante Jackson, the cornerback, uh, apparently he was very vocal during training camp and people like him. So, he showed a lot of confidence, which is good as a leader, you know, doing call-outs. And uh, that's all according to news feed that I got so far today. Um, that's a good thing because we, we need vocal leaders at corner. We need vocal uh, corners, secondary men that really lead us in the right direction. So that's good. Um, so now, the signed players. Wide receiver Bug Howard. Uh, one person mentioned him in the comments and said that they liked him. and I forget who that was. I didn't write down a name. So forgive me for not getting that name and shouting you out. But, uh, wide receivers are always good. You know, we're, we're always looking for wide receiver competition right now. He's listed at 6'4", 200 pounds. And, uh, the next man is center Kyle Friend. Listed at 6' even, 295 pounds. And he had this to say. Every team I've been at or been around has been has had Pro Bowl guys. Uh, 
and I've been able to pick something up from every one of them, so I'm sure I'll be able to learn something from Ryan Khalil. Well, you're learning from the man himself, the legend, Ryan Khalil. You know, he may not be in his prime anymore, but I can tell you this much. You are learning from the right man. He will teach you all you need to know at the center position. And I'm not sure if uh, Buck Howard is a predominantly run stop, run blocker or a predominantly pass blocker or both. So if you guys would like to fill me in on that in the comments below, please do. And the final one, the final two, uh, the guard Quintarius Eatman, listed at 6'6", 315 pounds. Uh, Ron referred to him as a tackle at the end of the camp, which is good because we're looking at tackles strongly right now. But guard is good too. If he can do both, we would love that. Uh, and the final one is defensive end Carter Schultz, listed at 6'3", 260 pounds. I don't even need to tell you how much we need defensive ends right now to back up the guys that we have. We have a strong depth. We have a strong core. We're looking good. So, with... With Jerry Richardson's reign ending as the founder of the Panthers and into the new era of David Tepper, what do you think will happen? What expect changes do you expect? Please drop those in the comments below. I would love to read those. Um, you know, and I will respond back to them as soon as I can. I'm a busy man, but I will try my very best to respond to you. Uh... I think that's just about it as far as Panthers news today. Um, keep checking in for the videos and I'll be putting them out as soon as I have info and have had time to research this stuff. Thank you guys so much for the support you guys are giving me. The comments, the likes, the subs. You guys are fantastic. Anybody that's uh, helped us out with the channel, you guys are amazing. Please don't forget to like, sub, and hit that bell. If you hit that bell, you will get our videos. I cannot stress that enough because there are so many YouTubers that get comments about, oh, the videos didn't come through the feed or I didn't get alerts. Well, that's because you didn't hit the bell. So, please do so. And that will be right next to the subscribe button in case you missed that. Um, so yeah, I think that should be it. Um, any music that you would like me to react to, please leave that in the comments below as well. Uh, I had one suggestion for the Breaking Benjamin album, the new one, so I will look into that and see if I can do it depending on the time I have this week. Uh, beyond that, I think that... Yeah, I think I've covered everything. I may have... gotten new news in between when I started this video and when I ended it, so... If so, I will get to that news tomorrow. You know, uh... As always, keep pounding. Panther slogan in honor of Sam Mills. Go Panthers. Hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you again tomorrow. This is the Keep Pounding channel. Have a great one, guys.